Merry Christmas Eve guys. It is Sunday, December the 24th and I am tired. So I went out dancing last night. My family's annual Christmas party was last night and that was so much fun. It was catered and I had barbecue. There was a whole bunch of other non-keto sides but I only had all the meats all the pulled meats and it was really good i was really happy that i was able to stay on track there uh, and then after that i went out dancing and didn't get home till three in the morning and now i'm already up and at them and about to go to the gym and the grocery store and i anticipate a crash later today <laughs> like i don't i just I'm old and I can't be doing this no more. So I am gonna get as much done as possible, go to the gym, go to Meyer. I had to clean up, Christmas is at my house, so I have to clean up, I have to meal prep. I haven't even put up the tree yet, like I am failing at Christmas all around, but today's the day I gotta get it right. So as previously mentioned, my family's Christmas party was last night, but we're having actual Christmas day at my house. So I just decided to take some of the leftovers from the party so that we could use them on Christmas. And all I managed to come away with were the desserts. And I'm not gonna lie guys, it's pretty tempting. Uh, we got a buttermilk pie, like a chest pie. We got some brownies. Oh, yeah. And we got a half the cake left. Like, all we got left is the Christmas tree. But you guys, icing is like one of my favorite things ever. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So this is super tempting, but I'm gonna resist. But at least gotta look at them till tomorrow. Hey guys, called an audible. So I haven't started meal prep yet. I'm about to head out and do some last minute shopping with my sister. And I decided to make what I call just like keto trail mix which is basically just sunflower seeds and macadamia nuts and lily's dark chocolate chips so that's gonna be my snack slash meal and then we're gonna do some shopping and then i'll come back and do meal prep this is my sister she's ridiculous we're in the mall oddly enough it's not too crowded so we're gonna hit up a couple stores and then back home for meal prep Just got in from shopping. I think I'm finally hitting that wall that I talked about earlier. I am tired and I'm hungry and I am not pumped about meal prep. Uh, I am going to have an Atkins meal, my go-to lazy meal. I'm gonna have an Atkins meal. I'm gonna watch some television to try to pump myself back up and then I'm gonna get in the kitchen.
we got a girl who takes her time You must slow the pace, she can't mess with her mind If she feels the same, she'll let you know Just prepare yourself, I'll be ready to go And I hope this message stays on your mind But you almost lost a girl who's right on time There's one more thing that you got to know Just cool it down and stay in control Listen to me, let me tell you Why you all call me down on me Trying to tell me how my life is supposed to be I know you're only trying to help me out Trying to show me what life is really about But this time I'm gonna make it on my own So why don't you fellas just leave me alone Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky and Mike If I look the girl who cares who you like Hey guys, it's 6 30 and I just finished meal prep. Right here we have breakfast. Breakfast has been doing really good for me these past two weeks. I just got eggs, sausage, and broccoli. I decided to not shred the cheese partially because I was lazy and also because it wasn't bringing me as much satisfaction as I thought it would, so I didn't feel like putting forth the effort. Next we have mini sliders. Uh, between following Keto Peck on Instagram and watching Headbangers Kitchen on YouTube, I've really wanted to make some burgers these past couple of days. And so I made some burgers and I bought some blue cheese and I caramelized up that 100 grams of onion and that just turned into the, you know, most measly little 100 grams. But boy, if this don't taste good, what? So. That's gonna be an exciting meal, and I just have some shredded lettuce to go with that. And then finally, we have the Keto Connect Almond Ricotta Cookies. I managed to make them even better than last week, so, I mean, those are just delicious. I think I know what it is, it's the pecans. I put 30 grams of pecans in there, and it's just a game changer. Like, oh, and vanilla. Ever since I heard Matt say that vanilla is the salt of baking, like that made so much sense to me. And I don't know if I saw vanilla in that recipe and I was like, every cookie needs salt, you know? So I put some vanilla in there and it sets that thing off. I'm probably gonna watch some TV and then decide whether or not I'm gonna put up the Christmas tree. Christmas is tomorrow after all. So maybe I should have a tree, but I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm gonna do that today or in the morning. So we'll see. Okay guys, the Christmas tree was put up. It's officially time to celebrate. Uh, meal prep is done, everything is done. Well, except the cleaning of my house, which will happen before my family gets here tomorrow. Uh, but another successful meal prep. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and I'll catch you later. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment. Also subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also follow me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Also don't forget to ding the notification bell right under this video so that you get notified whenever I put up new meal preps. Thanks and I'll talk to you later.